Hello, welcome to the channel. It's, I, it's Steve from Box Coins, and today I'm going to review a set that I've had for an absolute age. I bought it when it came out in 2020, and I, it just got put to one side, and I forgot all about it. However, during my tidy up I had over Christmas, I found this particular coin, this particular coin set, and thought I need to do a review on it. And this set, of course, is the Victory set from the Isle of Man. On this one, they've all got the same obverse, so I'm just going to show it the ones there for the Queen. Here we have the V coin. The V coin has. Winston Churchill actually giving the V sign the two fingers face in front and not the V sign that you use to tell somebody you don't particularly like them. So that's the first one. They're all 50p pieces. The second one, the I, is has a family reunion of sorts. By the looks of it, uh, a ship coming in and the family reuniting. The sea in victory. So it's two military people in discussion. I'm not sure what about, but... Uh, So, the fourth coin is T, and that shows people waving off military people on a ship going out to sea. The O shows planes flying over St Paul's. Now I don't know whether that is fighter planes from the RAF defending the skies over London or whether it is just like uh, they did at the end of the war and they flew aircraft over the landmarks of London. Which I think that one possibly was. The R shows a group of servicemen celebrating possibly the end of the war in their area of conflict so if they were from the Africa course say for instance they'd be celebrating the final victory over Rommel or if they were the end of the war then it would be the victory in Europe the problem with a lot of these ones, these victory, this victory coin set, is that it was more to do with VE Day rather than the end of the war. It's the end of the war, don't forget, there was a lot of people in the, they feel they're in the Forgotten Army, which of course were the people who fought in the Far East and were prisoners of the Japanese, etc. So the, finally, the Y is a serviceman hugging his child with his partner or wife next to him. So it's quite an evocative set. And what I've done is I split the coins now over two lines and I'll take this up so you can see all of them together. So you've got V, I, C, T, 
O-R-Y victory. As I said, this was quite an evocative set because it was seven coins. It celebrated a very important time in the victory in Europe. However, there are genuine concerns for me that we don't forget the army that took a lot of pain and took a lot of damage, which was the army in the Far East. They were treated appallingly when they were prisoners of war, as were the women who were non-combatants, and they were treated quite terribly as well. So in this set celebrating the victory in Europe, I didn't remember seeing one for the victory in the Far East or the overall victory of the end of World War II. This looks as if it's based, this particular set, around the victory in Europe. And I would have preferred it personally was for the victory at the end of the whole of the World War II. But this seems to be centralised around the European theatre. However, it is a good set of coins. It celebrates something that needs to be celebrated and remembered in the hope that we never make the same mistakes again. Although I'm sure in the future, maybe in another hundred years or so, something equally as stupid will happen. Anyway, that ends this particular set. If you've enjoyed the video, would you please give me the thumbs up, or th at least think about it. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, could you think about doing so? Neither of those two actions will actually cost you any money, so please, if you do have enjoyed the videos and you want to see more of my videos, please if you do both, I'll be extremely grateful. I am trying to increase my subscriber level again next year. However, in the meantime, if you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you're buying coins, then I hope you can buy the coins that you want for the price you want to pay. And finally, thank you for staying to the end of the video. And until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be not too far into the distant future, from me, thank you for watching the video, and from me, bye-bye. Ta-da now.